Um, I mean, you actually have two strings of uh, your children's rights there. On, on one hand, and the beautiful children's stories, and on the other, elegant, an, an elegant novel about honor and, and modernization, which sort of rather links with what you're writing about, the present, how the past has past is influenced the present, and the present is now changing things. I mean, you're from, from clay and dust, that have moved me enormously, in the beautiful period, and and, uh, and, and a sad, a bit of quiet sadness about it, which, and I was wondering, both of you have, beforehand have, have mentioned your own environment and where you come from, and it was very much keen. I was wondering how this has affected you as well, apart from asking the original question as well, perhaps you write for the day. I started writing uh, in my late, in my mid-twenties, uh, when I uh, was a journalist in Karachi, and I had friends who were writers. Uh, and by association with them, I began to think that I'm a writer myself. And so, although I was working on the desk, I was not even a reporter, I would introduce myself to people as I'm a writer. <laughs> and, and so that's what I did. And uh, one of my friends, Muhammad Khalid Akhtar, um, who's one of who's great writers of the 20th century. Um, I was very lucky to, um, to be his friend and find him you know, just uh, by chance at, at a meeting. And he was 50, year, 50 years older than me. And I, uh, he and I would you know, just roam the streets in Karachi. And both of us loved fruitcake and tea. So you know, that's what we do. We make pit stops every now and then. We don't have fruitcake and tea and talk about books and literature. And uh, I'll, 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 you know, I'll name draw. Okay, I've read this book, yes. Have you read Musharraf? Have you read this book? Yes, 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 I've read this book. So, you know, then I'd go home rushing and read that book. For <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the long and short of that is that I started writing um, for kids because, you know, I wanted to write for kids. Always, I did. And um, I, I sent a bunch of those stories to different publishers. I said, okay, now I'm a bunch of 10 stories, so now they'll be published and I'll be a writer. So I sent them to many different uh, publishers in the US and UK, and I got rejection letters from all of them, except from Penguin, who said that you know you have to apply to an agent, and you know then it's a whole long process. Anyway, so um, in in uh, then you know uh, my wife and I we emigrated to Canada, and I said that you know four years it takes it takes you know get become naturalized citizens. Um, I was a dropout from engineering, so you know I didn't have a degree, and I knew I'd be working in kitchens and you know, these places. So I said, well, I'll, I'll do that work, and in the evening I'll go home and write my first novel. And that's you know that was a separate struggle altogether. But now, you know, uh, answering your question, why uh, why I write? Uh, I think um, you you have as a writer, you get ideas for many stories, and then you choose a particular story to write about. Then. Uh, and you know, why do you choose that particular story? For me, it's how a story would end, which would give it that meaning, you know, which that story contains. And that, that is what you, know, you want to uh, explore uh, through, through the exercise of writing. So um, there's that, but you know, similarly, um, at another level, uh, well, there's this aesthetic exercise, and there's the fact that you know, you, now you make you know, a living as a writer. And, uh, but beyond that, you know, what, what meaning does writing carry for you? And and for me, um, it's like this. You know, if if you find the world a, meaning, a meaningless place, and if you find uh, most of life meaningless, then writing a story about something that appeals to you, that's close, that, that you know. Uh, there's a certain e emotion in that that you want to capture and you know uh, take to, to its conclusion. That is what uh, that exercise allows you to impose a kind of meaning on an otherwise meaningless life. So once we are there, um, we can always ask ourselves, you know, is this the most meaningful you can make life? You know, why don't you become a nurse and you know help people, which is more always more noble and more meaningful. And then you come back to the original thought that you know, no, the pleasure it gives me, uh, or you know how it completes me. It also, it would also perhaps complete me more, you know, if I if I was a nurse. 
but it completes me in a different sense, and you know that hedonistic pleasure that you get, that kick that you get out of uh, writing just so as you had imagined it. I think that is what keeps me writing and keeps me wanting to write more. So that's what, how I would describe this. Thank you.